Okay, so hey guys, what is going on? It is John and Victor from New Tech Weekly. So, I am talking really weird right now, and that's because I have to, because my computer is doing a weird feedback thing, and I can't sell it right now. But right now, we are here talking about the great American eclipse of 2017, which went from coast to coast of the United States of America. I was one of the witnesses. And Canada. Are you sure? No, it didn't go through Canada. Well, you could see it, but yeah, like it not 100%. You could but see it, but the not, difference not, between, not, not nearly yes, the privilege that yes. Victor got. So the difference between 99% and 100%, unless if you have weird circumstances where you could see it through clouds, the difference between 99% and 100% is really 100% of difference because of the fact at 99%, it's cool, it gets really dark out and stuff, but 100% you can look at it without the glasses. And what I mean by that, you could see the corona, you can see it all at one. And the thing about the human eyes is dynamic range. So, you know, dynamic ranges with cameras. Well, basically, the human eyes have dynamic range. And when you're looking at it through the solar glasses, you can't see the corona of the sun. You just see the brightest parts, and it looks like a circle in the sky, and it's really... It's cool, but especially in an eclipse, like you can see sun. the the missing part of the sun because like the moon, the moon is covering it up, kind of like it's not physically covering it up. It's just a shadow of the moon. So yeah, but what's really amazing is when you actually have a chance to see all of it at once. You're seeing the moon, the corona, which is the sun. So you're seeing the moon and the sun. Thing is, you're seeing it with your own eyes. You're seeing everything around because the corona of the sun really isn't that bright. It, well, it is. It is. But, like, it's it's not at... It's not... The light's not going toward you. It's kind of just going out and away. And the, you can look at the corona in a 100% eclipse, and it's really something you never see that... You, you never, you've never you never seen it unless if you've been in a 100% solar eclipse. Most people are like, yeah, I've seen a solar eclipse. And it's like, you have, but with the glasses. The glasses are, like, two dimensions. And when you're looking at the solar eclipse... Without the glasses, it's like three dimensions. So, it really is an amazing experience. And, you know... Yeah, I yeah. wish I could have experienced something like that. I wish you would have went to northern Georgia and saw it. Because you could have. You should But have. you see, you're so much closer to northern Georgia than I am. So, yeah. it's really hard for me to get... It was still there. 10 hours of driving, though, so... For me, it would have been days. Yeah, it seemed like days. But, you know, the solar eclipse is something everyone has to see in their lifetime. It really is. I mean, just see the video that I did on it. That really doesn't do it much justice. It is really, really a life-changing experience. Because you, you're you're seeing the, your existence in the universe. And that's something you don't see ever. That's something you just exactly. don't see. So, it really is pretty amazing. So... What, what, t tell me about your experience, John. I know that you did see some really cool stuff through the clouds, yeah. but what else did you see? Like, any changes in the um, wildlife? Well, we really didn't see much. Yeah, it wasn't really that yeah. special. I mean, still, it was special. It was cool. But it's not it was much, cool, but it was not awesome. Nearly. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, basically, another thing that I haven't really talked about about the killer is the wildlife. Now, Sasquatch, Bigfooter people, like... They were big footing during this eclipse because, you know, some people believe Sasquatch uses the eclipse as a time marker. I really don't believe that because it, it, I mean, I do believe that, like, they might be around for, they might have been around for a thousand years. We don't know about Sasquatch, but, like, the wildlife, you, you could hear the crickets start chirping. You can hear the, the birds stopped. Everything just stopped. The cows started laying down, I think. I'm not sure that didn't happen where I was, but happened some places. But it nature shifted into nighttime. It was nighttime. That's what happened. It was it was like nighttime. Nature thought it was nighttime, and when it was the sun came back out, it was like it was morning. The birds were chirping, the crickets were out still. It it was really weird, and it looked like it was sunset, 360 degrees around. And you know, that's just something you you never see ever yeah and it sunset 360 degrees around in the middle of the day is really kind of it, it's awesome it is it is a life-changing experience 
everyone needs to see a solar eclipse. And the fact that some people say you can't take pictures of an eclipse with your phone is just not not true. So don't believe them. Even though I was one of those people until I realized I wasn't. Because with a wide angle lens, you're not going to damage your camera. If you do, don't sue me. It's not my fault. But um, Or it's not my fault if you damage your camera from looking at the sun. Especially with like a DSLR with a big lens. That's when you're going to damage your camera because it's a magnifying eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's all this lo- yeah. podcast. Yeah, thanks is for about. listening. So we want to th- thank you for listening. Hopefully, we're g- we'll see you guys yeah. in the next video. Bye. Goodbye.